Hello guys, this is me, um, recording something with BSR Video Recorder, and uh, I can't get this down. That will not go away. It will, like, just stay there, and I don't know how to get away. But, um, yeah, this is what I usually have for the screen recording. Sorry for this hole right here, I don't know why it's there, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a cool, um, video editing, video editing software it is VideoPad and Video Editor. Um, I have a way to uh, get it to the free version rather than the trial version. Um, you see that's unlicensed basic free version. There you go. Um, easiest way to do this is uh, well, after you have the, you don't. Me, I have it already up to the basic free version, but um, I'm going to actually close this program and I'm going to go into control panel. Once you're in the control panel, um, you're going to whatever it loads. <laughs> I'm going to want to go to Programs and Features. When you're in Programs and Features, let it load up so uh, you get your um, wall wall bing bang And you can scroll down to VideoPad Video Editor. Click on it, make sure that box is clicked if you have Vista or uh, 7. Uninstall slash change up here on the top. You're going to want to continue. And once that is popped up, you're going to wait a second. And it's going to have a little uh, this. And you're going to want to click any of the, none of these. That's for uh, installing or changing. This is to change the uh, version to a downgradable version next, you know, to the free version. So uh, that's about it. And you close this. After you selected it, you want to go to your video pad video editor, and uh, you you pop that open, and it's gonna say unlicensed basic free version. And uh, yeah. I don't see what's the new, uh, what's the difference from a basic free version and the unlicensed uh, trial, but uh, yeah, um, let's go ahead and uh, show you around this uh, video pad, video editor. Um, you got your capturing tool, which you don't really do it. It's just it'll it'll just it's bad. Use Virtual Dub if you're going to be capturing from a. Uh, uh, recording software, capture card, or whatever software you have. You can insert blank things where you can actually uh, have like a pause in the video and have a text there. You can narrate, which I'm using, I'm going to be using that for my Black Ops 2 videos I'm going to be posting up later on in the uh, months and days that I've had. And it's a really cool tool because when you record your narration, it'll it'll go all, it'll go over the videos, audio and everything, so it's really cool about that. You have subtitles or, you know, you know, yeah, subtitles. I, I don't really understand why you would have to have a subtitle in there if it's a video. Well, I can understand if it's a movie rather than a video because, well, I mean, it's a movie. It's not a video where it's only going to be like up to 15 minutes tops. You can save your movie here. Um, click on saving your movie. Yeah, you have to have a uh, movie down here or video option tool. You can change all your options and media files and other kind of stuff. Uh, by line and you can have the uh, suite. I think here, I guess you can't just directly uh, upload to YouTube. I'm guessing that's the newer or the uh, version. You have transitions and effects, uh, but you have to have a um, a video down here. And I'm not gonna post the video in here because the video in here leaks. The video I'm going to be posting up later on this week or so. You can also add me add media, but uh. Never, well, I mean, if you have a decent computer that uh, will allow you to uh, capture and, well, play the game at the same time and not also have a video, I mean, an editor, go ahead and use it all you want, but uh, strongly don't use it if you have a slow computer that lets you allow at least do this and stuff like this. So, um, that's about it. That's about how to get to the free version. And, uh, yeah, um, what I'm using to record this is the BSR screen recorder and so um that's that and I can't I can't I can't close it I don't know how it just it just it's just there so uh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and also um a cool thing is you whenever you're in video pad or in your uh, movie maker whatever you make in movie maker can be uh, inserted into uh, that's the black ops 2 that's the that's the AVI file I've named just because I uh, have other files in there, but uh, yeah, you can have this imported into the editor, uh, nice and good old, good old days. And if you just want to do a video editor, not a uh, 
not a, more of like a narrating software. That's really what the video pad editor I use for. Um, usually, use, you always should use Virtual Dub if you're um, using a standard definition capture card, which I am. So uh, that's what I have to use. So um, I sometimes capture video there, but uh, do it to your uh, consent because it takes a lot of memory off of your um, hard drive and disk space. So uh, use it with your caution, but it also ca captures in the uh, highest format of AVI. So that's always decent. And uh, when I find out how to get rid of this BSR screen recorder pop-up, then the video will look better. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the version of how to get it to free. All you gotta do is go to control panel, and after you go to control panel, uh, you go to system or not system uh, programs and features. Scroll down to video pad editor, uh, uninstall slash change, and then you uh, you click the very bottom bullet where it has uh, downgrade to basic free edition. Alright guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, this is Noble Player 14 and I'm out.